Right, so today we're going to have a go at lowering the seat. What we're going to do, we're going to take off about an inch off that part there. So first, I need to pull the staples out and take the cover off. And then we'll have a look at the foam. Right, so I've just been to pick this up off the father-in-law, so at least I can put that down. So I can staple the cover back on the seat. So we'll go into that and we'll see what it's like. Right, so there we go. Seats on, stapled. Not too bad, a little bit of a, a sag in it. But obviously the seat goes down a lot lower. Right, so let's see if we can get a better footing. Well, that's better. Got my socks on and my slippers. But if you could see, I could more or less flat foot it. a lot better. So I'm not far off flat footed centre. If I move the box slightly to the side, I can flat foot. But it feels alright. The seat don't feel hard. So I suppose you've got to be careful you don't cut away too much sponge. We'll have to see how that weathers see because obviously it's a bit a bit of a sag in the middle. It should be alright. <clears throat> well, that's all we need to do is set that out on a long road test. See what it's like long distance. I'm happy with it. It'll do. As I said, I've seen the seat. If it's all gone wrong, I can buy the seat for, I've seen one, £45, I think it is. So if it's all gone wrong, I can just replace the seat. Where to buy a lowered seat, I think. I think second hand that was about 180, 190 quid. So we'll try that, we'll see how we go. But I think we'll be all right with that. Oh yeah, boom. Right, so there we go. I've took it off and re-stapled it. I've poured it in a bit more so it's a bit tighter. That's it, that's better. can flat foot it. Oh, that's good. Bye for now.